otter power? I'm so not there. And this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. Which are more dangerous than actual cigarettes? Max, you should know better. Now I have to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Escape Betty. <laughs> Not really. Too bad. It's nice to have the females on board, too. Rachel, Amber, and her punk friend used to love skating with us. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> ran away. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with the boards. You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. You can watch us destroy these rails. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. No. Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? No. Hey, Logan Robertson. All-American asshole. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Nice, bro. Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. 
football, Max. Big football. Step away. Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. He's not creepy, just X-Files oh, Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. You look busy, Samuel. Oh, I'm always up to something. Today it's sweeping. Then painting windows. Just don't paint over the posters for Rachel Amber. You can't color over that sunlight. Nice. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. Dude. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, Sweet. I paint. <laughs> You'd think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. I guess Blackwell has to keep the lawn and plants well manicured to look good on a catalog. Nice, bro. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. All right, come on, where's the part where she gets hit in the back of the head? I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Sorry. I really have to find out what happens. No. Or maybe it's the other girl that does it. Okay. Oh shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Yeah, it's through your face. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. So what I gotta do is... Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Awesome. Nice, bro. Hmm. A paint bucket next to Victoria. I see a plan. Okay, let's see if this works. Dude.
think it's just gonna fall straight down. Awesome. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? So. Do you think so much for almost ruining my outfit? You're so lucky that didn't fall on us. We'd see your ass so fast. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. None shall pass. Capiche? No. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look yeah. great. I can't even chill on the steps. Grab that. Samuel is way too close. No. Nice, bro. Okay, let's see if this works. Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. No. Oh, man. She looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Uh, I deserve it. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. That's right. And no filter needed before I post this. Just... Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Well, let's see what happens if I don't do that. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. Yeah. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. No. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about 
blocking you and and the go fuck yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Okay. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Yeah, um, that, that's the other option. That's the better option. Don't. No. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Welcome to Black Hill. Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. As if. Juliet, extreme reporter. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Okay, it's uh, Ursula K. Le Guin. I recognize Neil Gaiman, Pierce Anthony, Terry Brooks, Martin Bradley, the usual flying dragon shit. Otherwise, in, known as Anne McCaffrey. Boy wizards. At least that's an alarm from this century. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. They live.
Okay, this is just mean and stupid. This action will have consequences. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Obvious, but true. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. So from this point on, we're watering the plant. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. This actually will have consequences. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Let's take this game. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. I look so pathetic. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time.
That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. So what is... Turning the power strip. On and off have to do. I miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Yeah, this is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. <clears throat> you are ridiculous. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. If you don't let me out, I will scream. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell.
Dior, Givenchy. You could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could... I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would... Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with... Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Speaking of selfies, let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here, and this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. That's mean, but she earned it. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. <gasps> Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. It would be a cool sticker without the words. This is both sad and pathetic. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. I assume Dana kept the appointment. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. So fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. 
Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Good Lord, Dana really was on her own. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? You're pregnant. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have... Yeah, me neither. But I did. Anyway. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway. You better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. There's that damn flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. Fuck this shit! Ow! That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. Well, I would be a hypocrite if I wasn't grateful for Blackwell's sprinkler system today. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Why don't you leave her alone? 
Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Nah. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Good thing I don't have a car, yet. Who toilet papers a bike? Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. Damn, somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Juliet still looks upset about Zack and Victoria. I don't blame her. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. I don't feel like talking now, Max. That layer of dust is begging for my finger. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay lots.
A new surveillance system. That's how it starts. Come on over here, please. Too bad those posters will be trashed and ignored. Max, get your ass over here. Come on over here, please. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! 
Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Me. Nobody! Warren should have just let Chloe hit. Man, Nathan Mason. Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Man, I remember this furniture. 
We spent all day painting it blue. Chloe loved that blue. We had such a blast drawing these together. This looks like a laundry bag. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Old cardboard boxes. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. You broke my glass snow dough. Thank. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe's dad built this dresser. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. I'm not into them, too pretentious. There's the power strip. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. It won't play without any power. Too bad I can't stream any music from Chloe's laptop. But I... She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Is this a desk or a storage space? I think this junk swallowed her desks. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Chloe's trash overfloweth. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. <laughs> 